Hi, hello, today I just wanted to show how you can use proportional transform tool in soft image. I don't know if they call this soft image or soft image. I find better pronunciation of saying soft image. But I heard they say soft image. I, I'm, I'm not really sure if I speak this. But today I must show you one interesting tool. First of all I need to add some edge loops. And after that I will introduce you new tool which is great. Okay, I must delete history. This is important. Our object needs to be free of history. Okay, let's uh, get started. If you want to use sculpt mirror, it's not exactly what I mean, but it is called in soft image view plane per orthogonal transform tool. By pressing V button or on keyboard, we will be scaling this. It behaves like sculpt brush. It's not maybe sculpt brush, but it's very similar. Uh, I'm recording videos and my program behaves uh, slower. I need to use symmetry mode in in a minute. If by right button of the mouse you scale, by middle mouse button you rotate points. Well, maybe it's not sculpt brush, but it works in a similar way to sculpt brush. You see, our leg uh, is a little bit changed. Of course, we need to add some edge loops to our character rig model. By pressing right, by pressing left, no, 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 left button and B, we resize our brush. Okay. If you do not see your axis, you hold V and V button and you can quickly snap your pivot to two points by pressing it. This is actually very good. I guess was thinking if I can do the same with polygons. G and V button. No, this works like similar to Maya. You can snap your pivot. This is not necessary to turn this on because if you snap pivot, you press button on your keyboard button G and button in V, and you can quickly snap your pivot. I think this would be necessary when you animate objects in a soft image. Okay, see you.